want to support me, go to Nene Marie 37 on Instagram and purchase you a signed copy of my book. You want to support me? Go to TikTok. Follow me at Trenches News 3837. Yo! It's your boy Trenches News, and I'm back at y'all with another one. Appreciate all love and support. Thanks for everyone who subscribed to the channel. If you ain't subbed to the channel, make sure you do. Make sure you join the membership. Shout out to the Mod Squad. If you ain't following my mods, you can follow the at the end of the video. Remember, if you got anything extra, food, hygiene, clothes, bag it up, take it outside, and give it to the less fortunate. Remember, we all one step away from being homeless. With that being said, let's say the kids, the women, the elderly, the neutrons, and the civilians, man. Happy Sunday to everybody. Make sure y'all wear y'all surroundings. It's still a weekend. Cause it's the weekend and it's daily, man. Hey, we got two stories for you. We got FBG Butter threatens Batman from jail and said the girl snitched on him. We got to talk about that. Then we got the Bloodhounds versus 63rd Ward, man. The disrespect of Bloodhound, man. The Bloodhounds are on it, man. And Billionaire Black has ignited another fruit. Hey, smash that like button so this video can get around to the masses. We're going to start off. With FBG Butter. Now, Butter yesterday called in to DJU, called in to DJU, wise Batman was being interviewed. And now I know the phone saying monitoring, recording, and letting you know that, you know, you, you basically are being investigated on the phone while you talk to your people. Now, Butter, it's crazy, man, that Butter got on there when DJU asked him, What's going on, gang? Man, Old girl got 11 pages, man. She snitched on me. First of all, it was three guns in the car. So you telling me all three guns was hers, butters? Like in her defense, was all three guns hers? Then you said on the camera that all the shit was yours, man. What's up with your girl, bro? Well, my girl let everything mass. So she was under the impression that everything was her, that yours, until the police came in that next room and told her that she being charged with unlawful use of a weapon. She thought you was taking. They say, no, nah, he only saying that one gun was his. You know, that's a cow with shit. Then you get on there and threaten Batman, say that you finna get him killed and put it on Duck, on Tuka, on all this shit, bro. Like, you need to stop that shit, bro. Don't nobody even merch it on Duck. And then to try to get a, a war started between somebody because you saying Batman disrespected Duck to Fendi Boy, first of all, Duck, Finn, Duck don't need Duck only seen Fendi Boy one time, man. He was in the studio with him. Boss Creed was doing a feature. Fendi Boy paid Boss Crazy the money. I remember this. And Boss Crazy can vouch for this shit. He was they was in the studio. Boss Creed had brought Fendi over there where Duck was to do a to do a um verse on his song. And in and, and between that, he was fanned out for Duck and asked Duck for a picture. Duck never hung with Fendi Boy. He don't even know Duck. Fendi Boy just found opportunity. To, to to profit off Doug death. He profited off of because nobody wasn't stepping up. FBG was acting like they was goddamn it, I'm um, scared of motherfuckers. And you know what I'm talking about at the time when Doug got killed. So Fendi Boy came out and he had got a little exposure. But you know what I'm saying? You just he lying on Duck. He blaming the girl, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like sometimes, bro, you gotta take up, you gotta take your responsibility for your shit. You know what I'm saying? You are already a class X anyway. You know what I'm saying? A class X, you going to the joint, you know? So everybody wants somebody else's life to be fucked up. Now, the girl did know that she was riding with Butter. And if she ain't know she was riding with Butter and who she was riding with, she definitely know who the fuck she was riding with now. A person who ain't going to take his weight. So is the girl wrong for saying that Butter? Hell no. Butter said that was all his shit. Y'all seen it. Everybody seen it. This ain't no hating. This some real shit. And then... With the with the mother shit, like you dropping your mother low to Batman and them and telling them to pull up. Batman did make a good point. When his mother kicked him out, it's a video that his the guard said, Your mother said you can't be here. He dropping her location to niggas telling them to pull up to her house. Yeah, butter need to sit down, man. He need to sit down and, and realize what he had in front of him. Hopefully he can get out in the next five years and come back and you know, make a lot of money, you know, if it's still around, if the money's still flowing around like that. But if not, you got to start from scratch, you know. Hey, but that's the choices that you live to make. Then we got Bloodhound Q50, man. Bloodhound Q50, man, was just sniped down on the lyrics by um, um, Billionaire Black. Billionaire Black just dropped a part two of the Indianimal um, disc. 
and um put the the clip of Bloodhound Lil Jeff being killed and Q50 them running. Said you ran on your man, man. I wish this this little this little war could be like a little Jay Z and Nas shit, bro. But knowing that where we from and the people who brag on the dead and the disrespect the dead, that this gonna be um you know what I'm talking about people really gonna be losing their lives behind this shit. Nah, for the people who hide in the streets, you gotta use your helmet. Nah, you gotta be like. Man, these niggas ain't. You got to keep it real with yourself. I love billionaire. I love. I love billionaire, bro. I love jerk. You know what I'm saying? I know they disrespect his brother and all that, but you got to really think about it. Like, it's people gonna die behind this shit, and I ain't gonna even be up in the city. I ain't gonna even be up there like that. I'm gonna keep it real with myself. So I ain't gonna ignite shit. You know what I'm saying? That they gonna be in the city going against some dope fiends and crackheads. That's really gonna slide. You know what I'm saying? And people going to barely get hit up behind this shit. When they get high, they think about everybody who disrespected them. You know what I'm saying? When they when they get high, they go in the house and go to sleep. The other parties. You know what I'm saying? So billionaire, man, you know, he a veteran. Like he said, they call him old. I did like that verse, though. They call me old, but it's just, I'm just outliving you dummies. So when you call a person old, nah, they just outliving y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's why you calling people old because y'all generation ain't living to be um see that see that old. But yeah, man, it's a war going on, man. Seeing FBG um um FBG Norbit come out and say something about the bloodhounds. He definitely ain't gonna be on the front line for sure. Billionaire will fight, will catch one of them and do something to him. I, I can say that. But why would you want to throw away your life or go to jail for some shit that you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just get money, you know? I wish it could be different, man. But, like, hey, somebody disrespect your brother, they going to disrespect theirs. Somebody say something to your people, you're going to disrespect it theirs. You know what I'm talking about? But, you know, it's up to them to grow up about the shit, bro. But playing with the dead, everybody is on the time clock. Remember that. Life is life is um temporary, man, and fucking death is permanent. So when you in that ground, you ain't never coming back, man. And let's see how many people going to rep you or remember you. You know what I'm saying? Just think about that, man. Kids, get out the streets. Hey, this trenches news, though. You want to support me? Go to Nene Marie 37 on Instagram and purchase you a signed copy of my book, man. That's N-E-N-E-M-A-R-I-E 37 on Instagram. We do ship out for free, and I do sign the book. Hey, shout out to everybody who support me. Everybody who was on the live last night. I will be going live tonight. I will be dropping more content, man. Hey. Shout out to Made Media Magazine. Hey, I will be dropping some content with him soon. Make sure y'all go and subscribe to that channel. I don't see the subscribers going up, man. Subscribe to Made Media Magazine channel, man. He got good content, and we going to do an interview over there. So make sure y'all go over there and support Made Media, man. Shout out to everybody else, though, man. Happy Sunday, man. Hope everybody eat. Hope everybody stay safe, man. Let's say the kids, my man is my nine. I'm out.